Um, hi guys, um, welcome to the final part, part 5 of my update on like stuff I got over the holidays. Um, so in this final part we're going to well, look at one thing that I actually found uh, I didn't realize it was mixed in with the power in this in the power and just stuff but it's what I just, yeah it's this is gonna be the final part which is all the power and things I got for Christmas or great uh, yeah Christmas this year um so yeah so I thought I'd save this part for the last because it's the 25th anniversary and I was a big fan of Power Rangers so well first thing uh, the non Power Ranger thing I got um. Dragon Ball The Adventure Begins. Um, this is actually like a chapter book. Um, it's actually my first um, non-anime. I'm um, actually recently, not l last year, the year before, I, I started to watch Dragon Ball. I like it a lot. Um, I watched, I have all five set seasons of, um, I have all five seasons of um, the original Dragon Ball, which, which this is based on the first, I guess, few episodes, this book. Um, it's like there's only a chapter book. Which I think it's actually pictures from the show. So yeah, so yeah, um, Boma and Master Yoshi, or Master Master Roshi, I mean. So I like, I really like this a lot. Um, this, this series and I just decided I, I kind of want to expand upon it just more on the anime. So I decided to get this little chapter book. But yeah, I'm I'm really like you know, like I said, I watched seasons one and two already, and I'm planning to watch in season three very soon. We'll start watching season three very soon. So yeah. yeah. yeah so that's Dragon Ball. Oh, that's Dragon Ball. Yeah. Okay. Um, now into the next. Um, now into the Power Rangers stuff. Um, first, um, yeah, actually, no. The first thing I'll show you is um, this is my only um, thing from Ninja Steel. Funny enough, um, I have um, the red and pink Ranger. Yeah, yeah. I have the red. So I have Brody and Sarah, the red and pink Ranger from Ninja Steel. Um, for some reason, it seems they're harder to get now. I don't know why. I might. Um, yeah. And so I got my another one th for this Christmas, and I got the White Ranger, um, Haley, which is the other girl on on the team. Um, yeah, so I I would like to get the Megazord, but I don't know. Actually, the one sword I want to get is the Lion Fortress Sword because that's a huge, huge. If you've seen it, it's a huge thing. I think it was worth hundred dollars at Toys R Us. I don't know if I better to get it or not, but yeah. So I'm hoping um. I'm kind. Of, I'm actually kind of thinking now, like how did Ninja Steel turn out? Because I know it just aired today. This is this is actually this is well, it's actually past twelve o'clock, so it's technically Sunday. So I'm kind of wondering how did it turn out. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so that's Hilly, the White Ninja Steel Ranger. Um, yeah. So yeah. So probably by the time this goes up, I've probably seen it by now. Yeah, by the time you're watching this. Um, and uh, the next thing is. Um, is um, uh, Dolby's they're kind of like the um, vinyl things, the pop vinyl things you see with the weird faces. Which I'm, I want to I would like the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger ones, but I don't know if I want the one where they have like a human face. They look kind of weird to me. But this is kind of like that, but not really. It's called a Dolby's, and the reason I actually picked this up is because it's only like three, four dollars at Toys R Us, and it is um. Read a repulsor. So it's only my second time having a read a repulsor figure. Um, yeah. There's some of the other ones. Don't, don't forget those. But yeah. But they said this is only $3. I had to pick this up when I stand for that price. Um, yeah. Actually, one thing I'm hoping they release, I know there was, I think they're supposed to release um, this reader with the. Power Rangers movie, the tw um, last year's movie, um, Rita, together in a package. I don't know if that still happened. I hope it does, but that's what happens. Um, the next thing, I actually ordered this on M Amazon America. Um, for some reason, they don't have it here, at least not right now, in Canada. Um, but when I seen this, I said, oh my god, I have to get this. I have to get this. I don't care what, but I have to get this. And for the first time ever, we have our very first Scorpina action figure. Yes, Scorpina, who is one of the main henchmen in season one of Mighty Morphin, was in one episode of season two and then just disappeared. And yeah, and uh, well, who are, and well, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Imaginex of Scorpina. Now you, now as you didn't, this is the first time we actually ever got a Scorpina action figure in any form. Um, I think I heard one time they were planning on doing one, but 
at the time, but for some reason it never came out. Yeah, and and, and we also get King Sphinx as well, but which I th he's been released before. I, know that. I don't have him, but you know he's been released before. Yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited. And then I actually found out recently that they're going to release um I think Goldar's Mega Sword that he did in a little form like this. And I'm actually want to actually start to collect these more now because they also released Serpent Terror, which I'm whoa Serpent Terror. Like I I actually want to get the original Serpent Terror action figure, but the, I think having a small one is just as good. Yeah, so that's. So I might end up getting more of these because and these are actually quite cheaper than the regular action figures. So that's so that's the magic next thing. I, mean, just some things I just want to get that command sense. I'm actually kinda of enjoying these a lot more than I thought. Yeah, so that's Scorpina and King Sphinx. King Sphinx. Uh, the next one is some actually Power Ranger books. Um now I don't know anything about these. All I know is these were chapter books that were released throughout last year. Um, some of these actually had to um, want back order and yeah. Um, they each released one of the colors of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So we have the blue one. This actually was, one was on back order. Um, this is Fish in Troubled Water. Um, these are like this chapter books. Which they look very similar to the, um, the Power Rangers 2017 movie book which I'll get to in a minute. Um, talk about that in a minute. So it's fish in troubled water. Oh, whoa, <laughs> fish in troubled water. Um, and you have the Black Ranger, um, the Venomous Eclipse. Um, I do plan on reading these sometime this year. The Pink Ranger, which was also on back order, um, Tournament of Terror. Um, all these I think did come in before Christmas, if I remember right. I think they all came in before Christmas. And then the last one, um, Mayhem from Moon Palace with the Red Ranger. Now, I'm um, wondering, what about the Yellow Ranger? Well, the Yellow Ranger and the Green Ranger both are ha coming out at the end of next month, February, which I already pre-ordered those. So, yeah. So, I don't know if they're going to release any more after they do the Yellow and Green one. Like, I, I don't know. Um, I hope. I, I don't know. Like, I don't think these are retellings of episodes. I think these are just completely original stories that are just based on... Mighty Morphin, or a certain point at Mighty Morphin, but like I said, they're not really based on um, any episode. At least I don't think that I'm 100% sure on that though. So yeah. And so, can't wait to read those. Um, yeah, some of them I really like uh, some of the other books they released many years ago, and yeah. So, um, the next thing is something um, I actually had pre ordered for almost an entire year. This was um this is actually a mini series that Boom Comics released. Um if you know what I'm talking about. Um I it came up for pre order I think at the beginning of last year. I pre ordered it and it was scheduled to come out in June of last year, but then some reason it got delayed until up to I think it was October and then it got delayed again uh, until December and then finally came out in December. Um I think part of the reason why it got delayed so many times is because I think the last two or three issues were also delayed for some reason. And um yeah, and these are my two probably favorite things. Like obviously one is Power Rangers, but this was a crossover they did. And what am I talking about? The Justice League, um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers crossover. Um, I can't remember if it's still wrapped in plastic, so this I probably will end up doing a review whenever I get around to reading it. Once again, hopefully this year. But yeah, it's just so weird. I I pre ordered this it almost it almost took a year for this to come in. But yeah, I'm finally glad to have it. Um, it seems, with what I've been reading, but it seems very interesting that um, you actually have the Justice League, you have like Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman teaming up with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Like, how cool is that? And tell you the truth, this, I feel this is the only way this is ever going to work because they're this two completely different shows. But I think because it's comic book, it, it works a lot better in comic book form. I don't think it ever work in um, the show unless they did some kind of animated thing like an animated movie, then maybe it probably would work that way. But yeah. Yeah, so that's just a league made with Power Rangers. Can't wait to read this. Oh, yeah. Um. Well, we probably could see it now, but... Um, actually, well, I'm going to leave it. You've probably seen it. Um. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. I didn't pay much for it. Now I have to show you this. So yeah, this is um, a legacy item. Um, I only paid like $14 for it. I'm um, surprised it was actually that much. And it is the Legacy Diecast Coin Set. Yeah. This is my, actually my first legacy item I got. Um, it's actually Velcro, and if you open it up, you actually get the coins. I don't know how you can see that, but yeah. That's the actual power coins. Now, I don't have the Morpher, unfortunately. I hope to get it if they ever re release it, but yeah. And I also get pictures of the Ranger, so yeah. Really like this a lot. I'm just, yeah, really like, happy to get this, um, especially now with the 25th anniversary. That's the back. So this, I probably won't take these out of the case unless, like I said, unless they get the Morpher at some point. But even the Morpher, I think the Morpher actually comes with all the coins, anyways. So, yeah, but it's just great to just have. I probably end up putting this on display and really, really in, happy to get this. Um, they said I didn't pay, I only paid about 13 14 Probably, probably by the time you had tax, probably about fifteen dollars in the end. I paid for it. It's around fifteen dollars. Um, yeah, so that's um, so that's it for the regular Power Ranger like other stuff. Now we're into the basically the DVDs I got, which I only got three. I only got three DVDs of Power Rangers. Um, and, and this one's actually needed. Um, the first um, the first DVD. Um, a lot of people consider this the worst season ever made of Power Rangers. They think it's garbage. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, um, I liked it. I do think it had problems, um, and I think that's part of the reason why I kind of avoided it. Like, I, I always wanted to get it. No, I'm not sure what it is. It's um, Power Rangers Super Mega Force. Um, this is the complete season. Um, like I said, I I had problems with the season. I don't hate it. Um, I the only time I ever hated Power Rangers was during the revision or reversion that Disney did back in 2010. But I've never actually hated Power Rangers. Um, I thought this was a huge letdown, especially in the end, like hyping up that legendary battle for two over two years. Um, I know people said it's only two years, but the thing is, if you think about it, it was actually starting to be hyped up at Morphicon in 2012, and then it just hyped up more and more, and it got so hyped, overhyped. I mentioned this on my podcast I did a few years ago that this it just got this whole season in general just got way overhyped, especially the legendary battle, and, and I think that's why it's a huge letdown, and that's why I actually didn't bother getting this at the time. Um, I think it was 2016 this came out, like two years ago, but I just wasn't in a big rush to get it. But I decided, you know what, it's the 25th anniversary coming up, and I decided, you know what, let's get it now. So that's Power Rangers Super Mega Force. Um, you get all the episodes, including the extended version of the Legendary Battle, which I don't know why they didn't release. I don't know, it's, it is a huge letdown, and, I'm, and actually people are, are very worried now about Super Ninja Steel because a lot of people didn't really like Ninja Steel either and so they're kind of worried of how is the 25th anniversary going to be affected now with the Ninja Steel not being according to a lot of people I didn't really have a problem with it but a lot of people didn't like Ninja Steel and they're wondering oh okay, is Super Ninja Steel going to turn out like Super Mega Force I don't know um, I don't know how it premiered I know I will say this um, it had a really great premiere um, when it, when Mega Force ended um, and I thought Mega Force had a great ending and Super Mega Force had a great beginning but then yeah, and you you know the rest if you've seen it. So yeah, so it's super mega force. Um, and the next one, I feel like people are kind of mixed on this one. It is um, Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. Um, I actually do have. I actually bought Dino Charge, which is one of my favorite seasons of all time. Um, last year, I think. Uh, yeah, I think I pre. Yeah, I pre-ordered that as well. I think around the same time I pre-ordered Jason the Wood Wars, and I think they came out at the same time as well. This one, I just. I wasn't in a big rush to get this. Um, I don't know. I, I liked it. I know a lot of people didn't. I know it had a really weird ending. Um, if you want to talk about it, I want to give spoilers with it. This Dino Charge had a really strange ending. Or, well, Dino Supercharge had a very weird ending. And, um, yeah. So, I you know some people are mixed on this Super Season, but I liked it. So that's um, Dino Supercharge. Um, the only thing on here, which I'm not really that disappointed of, is you don't get the the Christmas special, which actually does connect to the final episode and um, the Halloween episode. But you know, that's fine. Um, to tell you the truth, I actually think it does get a better ending with the actual proper ending than the Christmas episode, but I do think they're going to release the Christmas episode um, with another Christmas set. So that's Dino Supercharge. Um, 
So now, uh, and the reason I got those two because those are the only two I didn't have. Because like, uh, like as you know, if you watch one of my videos from a couple of years ago, I actually did get the Legacy set with Mighty Morphin to uh, Mega Force, and then last year I got Dino Charge, which is kind of funny because actually, and that's why I was saying like with Super Mega Force. But enough about that. And so yes, I decided you know, I needed it's the 25th anniversary, and why I get the two seasons I needed, and so that's why I got Super Mega Force and Dino Super Charge. Um, I don't know if they're going to release Ninja Steel. Um, I have a feeling they're going to release it in volumes like they did pa like in the past, and then release a complete season about a year later. But mm, we just have to wait and see. So um, the final thing is, um, it's something I actually bought. Um, it is the one, the only, which a lot of people actually like, but it's also something that don't like it. But I feel like for the, I feel like for the most part, people do actually like it. And it is the 2017 Power Rangers movie. Um, I will admit, when I first heard about what they were doing with this movie, how it's going to technically be a retelling of Mighty Morphin, I was very worried about that. Um, and I was hoping, and then some stuff started coming out about it, and I just said, I want to go see it. I have to go see it, see, see if it's going to be good or bad, or if I'm going to enjoy it or not. But unfortunately, I never got to see it in theaters. But... What I did do, and this is where I was talking about with the books, I actually got, for Easter, or around Easter time, I got the Power Rangers book that was based on the movie, like the actual chapter book that was based on this movie, that was the movie was made from, or well, I mean the book was made from, the chapter book, and I read it through all May and part of June. I, I took my time on it, but I really, I enjoyed that book a lot. Um, in my opinion, um, if the book, um, follows the same thing that happened in the movie and it's with what I know about the movie it does seem it follows very closely um of what the movie is it seems it's a great it's going to be a great great movie um I I just like it a lot um the book a lot um I I know like I said it's technically a retelling of Mighty Morphin but when I was reading it I did not look at it as a retelling of Mighty Morphin I just looked at it as just a separate team of rangers yeah, and this looks like it's just a separate team of rangers, and yeah, I, I, yeah, it's just another team of rangers, and and like I said, if the if this movie is just as good as the book, then I'm going to probably really enjoy this movie. I haven't watched it yet, obviously, but yeah, and as you're probably wondering, why do you have different stuff cover? Well, I don't know if this was just in Canada or, or if it's just or if it's just Walmart in general, but they actually had like. Like Walmart, at least here in Canada, Walmart has a special slipcover, and if you look, it actually changes to the cover that we all know. So it's actually great to have both of them. Um, and tell you the truth, I actually wanted to get, um, I think they released a DVD Blu-ray set of it, which I wanted to get, but unfortunately my Walmart didn't have this set, so I just, I'm just getting the um, DVD. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if they're making a sequel, um, they did make a comic book sequel, which I do have. Um, didn't get around to watching because I actually wanted to watch the movie first before I watched the comic book sequel. So I don't know. Still, this, having the sequel is still up in the air, unfortunately. Um, so I I don't like I I can't really see if I like it or not. Um, like I said, if I I really enjoyed the book a lot, and if the movie is just as good as that chapter book, then I'm going to enjoy the movie a lot as well. So and I will say this: you could look for a review sometime, probably in the summer or spring. Um, of this, a review of this, um, because like I said, I do plan, like I said before one of, my, one of the previous parts, I do plan on doing some Power Rangers stuff, um, because of the 25th anniversary, so yeah. Um, the only thing I feel like I might have a problem with, but might not bother me that much, is the design of the individual swords. Um, the main sword looks fine, but the individual swords look kind of weird. Um, and the costumes, I don't mind the costumes at all, actually. But um, it's only the swords that look kind of weird to me. But other than that, I think it's gonna be fine. And like I said, I'm I can't wait to watch this. Um, so that's the 2017 Power Rangers movie. And that is it. Um, yeah, that's I. That's basically all the things. Well, I got other stuff. But I don't think I want to look at, like candy and stuff like that. But yeah. Um. So that's actually it. Um. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, so that's yeah. So that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to plan on doing next. 
um, like I said, um, I decided, as you could tell, I decided to divide these up into parts. Um, I'm going to actually post, well, try to post one part every week. Um, this week starts on Monday. Um, well, like I said, if you like I said, if you've seen this, you know that's well. This one will probably up on the Friday, um, the first Friday of February. And um, yeah, so I I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, I have to see. Um, well, actually, I will say I will be doing um my reaction probably doing a reaction to the first episode of Super Ninja Steel but you'll probably be seeing that before you see this part so I just want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for what I have next and like I said before if you have anything you want me to review or talk about um no I will say this um please don't tell me to talk about politics or religion or any stuff like that because I'm not interested in that stuff at all but if you want me to review a movie a comic book um, if you want me to do a playthrough of a video game or if you might review a video game, I, I suppose if I have it, um, yeah, I could do that. But it's, it's just anything. Um, is if you want me to review something, just, just tell me. Um, what would you like me to do? And I'll see if I, I'm able to do it. It's like I said before, I have I have access to Netflix. Um, I also have. I know this is a certain website that uh, where I get packages from, because since it isn't here in Canada at the same time as the U.S., I have to end up going to this other website to watch it there. But whatever. But uh, like I said, if if you have something you want me to review, I'll see if I can review it and like if I'm able to get a hold of it, the copy either online or if I have it myself. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for I guess whatever's next. Um, and so thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this five part series of videos. Um, of my of stuff I got over the holidays, and yeah. Thanks and stay tuned for whatever I have next. So, bye.